Cross nature can be fatal and cruel. We're Mr. Davy Crockett. You'll have to pardon me. My wife has fallen ill. You would turn your back on your nation. I will not turn my back on my family. The Ballad of Davy Crockett, formerly titled Savage Lands, is written and directed by Derek Eslin Purvis. A fictionalized origin story of the man often referred to as the King of the Wild Frontier. Inspired by historical fact and long before the heroic stand at the Alamo, the movie follows the odyssey of this authentic American hero as he fights against all odds to save his sons from the clutches of a notorious land baron. Main photography and outdoor locations look great during both daytime and nighttime sequences. It becomes clear that they went the extra mile here to shoot this in the most naturalistic way possible. And it definitely paid off. This is the second movie starred by Call Media C in less than a week. And let me tell you, he is such an effective character actor. He's just great as the main villain here. On the other hand, William Mosley as David Crockett may be one step below acting-wise. But his character is the one with the most interesting arc. There is a solid production design here all across the board. I'm talking about props, costumes, makeup and hairstyle. It all contributes to take you back to the 19th century and also allows you to dive deep into the story. The camera work is really interesting as well. All camera movements are gracefully fluid especially when it comes to describe the characters and the environment they interact with. The camera feels as if it is floating around them, especially in all the scenes that involve Crockett's character. If you think about it, The Ballad of Davy Crockett is no different than a Liam Neeson action movie structure-wise. I mean, it's just a man seeking revenge, protecting his family and out for justice. And speaking about revenge, things get pretty violent and gritty during the third act. Thanks to a solid production and a committed cast, The Ballad of David Crockett succeeds at putting together a tenseful story that blends history and fiction while reintroducing audiences to one of America's first folk heroes. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you happen to see The Ballad of David Crockett, please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.